Donkey Kong. Mario. Here we go. The rivalry that heated up on the Game Boy Advance system reignites on the Nintendo Switch system. Announced roughly September last year and ever since amongst the top three most anticipated games of 2024 on Switch. If you missed it, Mario vs Donkey Kong has an updated version, a remade version of a classic game released over 20 years ago on the Game Boy Advance called just Mario vs Donkey Kong, which we just heard will now feature multiplayer. Over 130 levels, two player local co-op, classic and casual mods and more. Check it out, the game is going to be coming out on February 16. Hmm. That monkey's tail looks a little suspicious though, doesn't it? If Mario does this, now he can get across and safely grab the key. Platform too high? Reach it with a handstand jump or a backflip, like that. Observe and act to collect mini Marios, clear stages, and face Donkey Kong head on. In this updated version of the game, you can play with a friend in local co-op. However you choose to puzzle your way through, it's up to you to recover the toys. Mario vs. Donkey Kong launches on Nintendo. Announced over two years ago, at number two, we've got over here once again Open Roads. This is a first person story driven game about a mother and a daughter on a journey of discovery, possibly the most visually creative game in the list. It's a mix of all classic two dimensional puzzle games, but then partially offering a fully 3D and super realistic world, kind of like the Edith Finch game. Anyway, developers stated to feel basically like a movie. Check it out, the game is going to be coming out on February 22nd. Revealed earlier today with another trailer, Jujutsu Kaisen Cursed Clash is coming to Switch and other platforms finally on February 2nd. It's basically a two-on-two -two fighting game based on the Jujutsu Kaisen anime and manga series with a selection of more than 15 favorite fighters to choose from and featuring intense action and explosive animations on top of a pretty engaging story. Check it out. Can you handle this? Playtime is over! I'm going to use my full force to kill you now. This is the world I long for, right before my eyes. Don't get distracted, idiot. We've got to fight. Got to remember my lessons. Now, this is the attack. I expected more from you. This is the last of my strength. three Tomb Raider games, all with upgraded visuals, are venturing onto Nintendo Switch in one daring collection. Tomb Raiders 1, 2, and also 3 are all getting remastered versions coming out February 14. Early today, we actually got hands on a new gameplay trailer. This trilogy mainly offers remastered graphics and also includes all expansions and secret levels previously released. This time, you will be able to toggle between the original graphics and also the remastered, and of course, there's adjusted controls. Travel mysteries lost to the ravages of time. This faithfully remastered trilogy comes with all of the expansions and secret levels for each game. You can also toggle between the original polygon look and the upgraded visuals at any time. 
Tomb Raider 1 through 3 Remastered, starring Lara Croft, launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 14th. But I will not hold back if you attempt to take a single step into heaven. Coming in at number five, I believe I mentioned this one a year ago. We've got here once again uh, Slave Zero X. This is a two dimensional, also three dimensional side scrolling game coming out of both generation of consoles and this is the Nintendo Switch. February 21st now. Here's a trailer. Might just actually be the dopest 90s inspired, not only in graphics, but also soundtracks. Come out, come out. It's rude to keep a girl waiting. Is it true? A pilot and a slave have risen against our Holy Father? You can still turn back, Sho. The calamities are not yet involved. You must have thought this slave here would bring you power. But power is nothing without control. You're almost there, Guardian. One final ascent. End of the line, devil. You cannot comprehend what it is you are starting. A drop of water challenges the ocean. Uh, Goblin Slayer, on the other hand, which is a strategy RPG in nature, will now launch for Switch, PCs via Steam on February 29 this year, with English and also Japanese language options. Developers just announced you can pre-order the game now on the Nintendo eShop and release a new trailer for it as well. It's quite a bit inspired by the triangle strategy in case you're just wondering what type of gameplay it does have. ゴブリンを殺せ。そしてより時を稼ぐ。ゴブリンスレイヤー、ソウト。そう言わなかったか。二度と会えないけれど、もう一度会いたい人はいるだろうか。もしその人と再会できるとしたら、あなたは何を
Sometimes you need luck in order to survive. If you can obtain a shining sacred item, you will be one step closer to conquering the dungeon. Its base value is higher than that of the normal versions, and can sometimes come with special runes. If you still find yourself stuck in an adventure, try training at the Monster Dojo. You can freely summon tools and monsters, as well as adjust your player level at will. Learn how to fight, come up with your own strategies, and try them out. Coming to PCs and Switch on February 28th this year, at number 6 we have a remastered version of the old Star Wars Dark Forces, fully remastered and allowing the player to run on modern gaming devices up to 4K resolution, controller support and more. Now for those of you new, it's actually one of the first and most original first person shooters in the gaming industry. Ago, the Empire attacked one of our secret bases. Intelligence thinks that this may be an act of retaliation for the destruction of the Death Star. Imperium Collection, Volume 2 on the other hand, is a collection of all the classic legendary arcade shmup games, including Image Fight, Image Fight the Second, and they're all coming to the Nintendo Switch, basically all platforms, on February 20 this year. Anyway, Company that and in Games just released a new trailer for it, and this is how it'll eventually look. After releasing on PCs in 2021, Eliza is now finally making its way to the hybrid console next month on February 6. Eliza, as you can see, is a retro, pretty much PlayStation 1 style made survival horror game, roughly a mix of Resident Evil and Watch Tower games, except it has an even eerier atmosphere amongst its qualities. Simple game, fun to play, pretty scary, and it's available on demo eventually, will cost you a little new shop for 20 bucks. Excuse me, I... And last but not least, we've got another op game, but it's a restaurant management strategy roguelite here called Plate Up. You can play this one in a single player or with up to three other players in multiplayer and choose many different dishes to make or even create by yourself. This game is coming out on February 15 on the Nintendo Switch. 